Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Amri News. You're back to hear the news today. Russia's defense minister ordered an end to military rules near Ukraine, involving tens of thousands of troops and dozens of warships that had exacerbated tensions with the West. The announcement came as President Vladimir Putin invited Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky I for talks in Moscow following weeks of renewed fighting in the east of Ukraine between government troops and pro-Moscow separatists. But the Russian leader appeared to shoot down Zelensky I's proposal to meet in war-torn eastern Ukraine, saying talks over the years-long conflict should be conducted directly with separatists. Earlier in the day Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu oversaw massive drills in Moscow annexed Crimea and said soldiers would begin returning to their permanent bases on Friday. The troops demonstrated their ability to ensure the reliable protection of our country, he said after flying over the Opic firing range in a helicopter. The West has repeatedly called on Putin to pull back troops, and on Thursday the United States said it would wait for Moscow to follow up on its announcement of an end to the military rules near Ukraine. We've heard the words I think what we'll be looking for is action, State Department spokesman Ned Price told reporters, Shoigu, who arrived in Crimea earlier in the day to oversee military drills, said Moscow was closely watching NATO movements and would remain vigilant. Shoigu and the Army's General Chief of Staff Valery Gerasimov, both armed with binoculars, oversaw the drills from a viewing platform as helicopters flew overhead. The ministry released dramatic footage of the land and sea maneuvers that showed troops practicing amphibious landings. Jets streaking through the sky and infantry vehicles traversing green fields. Both NATO and Ukraine's Zelensky I welcomed Russia's announcement, with the Ukrainian leader saying on Twitter that the reduction of troops on our border proportionally reduces tension. Any steps towards de-escalation by Russia would be important and well overdue. NATO remains vigilant and we will continue to closely monitor Russia's unjustified military buildup in and around Ukraine. Timothy Ash, senior emerging market strategist at London-based Blue Bay Asset Management, said Putin was playing games and it was hard for the Ukrainian leader to accept direct talks with separatists. The European security watchdog OSA's monitoring mission in eastern Ukraine, for its part sounded the alarm over near unprecedented restrictions and impediments to its ability to operate and increased numbers of civilian casualties. Russia's troop buildup on the Ukrainian border led to concern in Kiev, in the west of a repeat of Russia's 2014 aggression, when Moscow annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine. The EU estimated this week the number of Russian troops along the Ukrainian border at more than 100,000. Shoigu has described the movement of Russian troops as training exercises in response to threatening NATO actions. 